Hello and welcome to New Frontiers on CCTV International. I'm Ji Xiaojun in Beijing. And today we're continuing with our story about the ancient city of Zhuolu and the efforts to prove it was the capital of the Chinese nation's original ancestor, Huangdi, or the Yellow Emperor. Now, in order to verify once and for all whether the ancient city of Zhuolu was indeed Huangdi city, the Hebei Provincial Cultural Relics Bureau in March 1997 dispatched a team of archaeologists to the site. Well, a month of investigation turned up some relics from the Warring States period and the Qing and Han dynasties, but that didn't help prove when the ancient city had originally been built. Eventually, the archaeologists decided that drastic action was necessary. They would dismantle the city wall in the hope of revealing remains from an even more distant historical period. Joan searched for similar cultural indicators along the city wall for several days in a row. Finally, under the base of the city wall in the northeastern corner, he found a 20 centimeter thick gray colored layer. Li Jun concluded it was probably an ash pit from very ancient times. In the ash pit, Li Jun found a number of fragments of colored pottery of a type he was highly familiar with. The technique used to make these fragments and the decorative designs they bore told Li Jun they had been made during the Yang Shao culture period. At that moment, Li Jun seemed to have solved the riddle that he had been working on so hard in his mind over that whole month. The pottery fragments found in the Ashbert had to have come from the Yang Shao culture period. This was a discovery that Li Juan was ecstatic about. The reason was he could feel assured that the assertions featured in local legend and historical books were far from groundless. In the 1920s, archaeologists discovered the site of a Neolithic age human community at a village called Yangshao in the county of Mianxi in Hunan province. It dated back 7,000 to 5,000 years ago. According to the methods used in archaeology to identify the habitats of ancient human beings, the cultural phenomenon from that period were collectively named Yangshao culture after the village where the site was discovered. All other historical sites featuring the same or similar cultural phenomena found afterwards have all been categorized as belonging to Yang Shao culture. One of the important features of the pottery objects from Yang Shao culture is that they bear painted patterns. Most of the objects are jars, pans and vases with a small mouth and a tapered bottom and they are painted red with decorative designs in black. The pottery fragments found in the Zhuolu city wall are the same as those from the Yang Shao culture period. This tells us that 5,000 years ago, a group of people whose lifestyle bore Yang Shao culture features had settled in the region around Zhuolu. Li 
Li Jun considered that it was highly possible that the ancient city of Zhuo Lu had been rebuilt on the site of a community of people from the Yang Shao culture period. It seemed a rational explanation had been found for an issue that had been troubling archaeologists for many years. The period between the Yang Shao culture period to the Warring States period encompasses more than 2,700 years. During this long period, people removed the earth from the sites of old buildings to build a new city and new houses. But in so doing, they inflicted considerable damage to the Yang Shao culture layer underneath. With this inference in mind, Li Jun felt that the preserved city wall of Zhuo Lu was built in the Warring States period. But if so, when was the city destroyed? In his book Annotations on the Classic of Water, Li Daoyuan, a geographer who lived in the Northern Wei Dynasty 1,500 years ago, refers to Zhuo Lu County as the former city of Zhuo Lu. This tells us that Zhuo Lu city had already been abandoned before the Northern Wei Dynasty. According to Li Jun's theory, the city of Zhuo Lu was first built during the Warring States period, and during the Qin Dynasty 221 to 205 BC, a county administration was established there. The city was in existence for a period of 700 years through the Han Dynasty, Three Kingdoms period, Eastern Jin Dynasty, the Western Jin Dynasty, and the Southern and Northern Dynasties period. However, during the Northern Wei Dynasty, AD 386 to 534, the city was downgraded from a major administrative site to an ordinary town. In the following 1,500 years, Zhuo Lu disappeared from Chinese history as the site of a county administration. Yet history books refer to it as Huangdi City or the Yellow Emperor's City. In 1914, Bao'an County was renamed Zhuo Lu County, and the name has remained in use right up to the present day. Yet, even though they could explain the rise and fall of the ancient city of Zhuo Lu, the archaeologists had failed to answer the key question Zhuo Lu may have been inhabited during the Yang Shao culture period, but there was still no evidence that it had ever been Huangdi's capital. Clearly, further investigation was needed in Zhuo Lu itself and across the Sangan River Valley. Yu Xian County, located to the southwest of Zhang Jiakou City in Hebei Province, is flanked by the Great Wall and the Tai Hang Mountains. To its east is Zhuo Lu County, and to its north are the counties of Yang Yuan and Xuan Hua. Its geographical location is certainly very special. When a cultural relics working team from Hebei Province conducted a general survey along the San Gan and Hu Liao rivers in 1976, they located a number of sites of Neolithic Age culture at Shaizu Linglo, San Guan, and Zhuanghe and Yuxian County, and at Lung Wang Tang and Zhuo Lu County. During the process of excavation, archaeologists found a large amount of pottery fragments in the topsoil. The questions to be answered were from what periods did these cultural sites and artifacts come from, and who had left them. Chinese archaeologists could not come up with a clear idea about these stratified cultural deposits. In order to find vestiges of prehistoric civilization along the Hu Liao River in Yuxian County, they conducted excavations for six years, from 1979 to 1984, at many locations in the county. We were in the Yuxian, Hu Liao, Hu Liao, 
发掘了这个，比如说这个张可、这个三字绫罗，是吧？这个四十里坡和三观等遗址，总的发掘面积是五千平方米，对吧？这个这个这个从出土了大量的这个地下文物。The San Guan site is located on a tableland along the San Guan River at San Guan Village in Shi He Ying Township, Yushan County, Hebei Province, and it is quite a large site. The stratified cultural deposits cover an area of about 200,000 square meters, and they're about five meters thick. In 1979, an archaeological team from Zhangjiakou carried out a large-scale excavation here. More than 20 years have passed since then, and the excavation site has been refilled. But at that time, archaeologists discovered the remains of six houses and two dozen tombs, and a large number of pottery and bone objects. All the houses that once stood on the archaeological sites faced south, with half of each building underground. The floor space was generally about 40 square meters. The buildings were laid out in an irregular way. The closest distance between two houses was just four meters. The walls and sleeping spaces were covered with a layer comprised of a baked mixture of grass and mud. The places where people slept were smooth and hard, and there was a fire pit in the middle of each house. All six houses were identical in structure. Archaeologists found many stone and pottery articles at the sites of the six houses. The stone articles included grinding clubs, axes, arrowheads, and weaving wheels. <laughs> <laughs> 